Hey, ah, take some more. Oh, you know, I always cover my glasses at night. Have this thing, you know, because <laughs> you know I was left at you. You, know, you look at stuff through the microphone. Anyway, I have this thing that there's dust mites in the air, and they settle in your words at night. I always cover my glasses. You know. I actually cover my glasses anyway. Yeah. You should do that always. I mean, at bars, I used to uh, use another coaster and put it on top of the thing. Well, let me put on the hat. I gotta talk. I gotta talk some. I don't think I'm gonna talk. Some. This is this is my goon cap. Everybody thinks. You think this is interesting? What you're orientated to, what you what you let into your thing, you know. So if everybody sees this. They're gonna associate with communism, blah 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 blah. blah. But that's not what this is. This this is an old one. Um, in fact, uh, I left my really well. In, uh, in Virginia, but this one is like, uh, use the green side, but you know, see how the black side is sort of faded? When I get back to Cape, when I get to Cape Town, there's a place called um, yeah, Cape to Cuba, Cuba to Cape, Cape to Cuba, something like this, a restaurant, and the staff wears this. See, Cuba thing. But for me, I'm a child of Ogun. So for me, Ogun's colors in a North American, you know, strain that goes through Cuba is uh, uh, green, black with a little bit of red so this is my ogun cap people don't know that i wear this one when, when i'm doing my color readings in the morning but i'm not going to do a color right now i'm waxing i'm waxing <laughs> that's what i'm doing i don't think the grand green side why the green side why because um you know i have green pants on oh you can see these are green pants but what it is see these they have this thing here oh you know, why am i showing it to you i'll tell you the pants has this you know so you don't have to wear a belt well, you with this for a belt, but since I got to go through the airport and all the rest of that stuff, I'm tired of taking off the belt or whatever. Have you so I just say, Phew. it's like my my shoes. I still don't I can take them off easy. So the belt, so I don't have to wear a belt with these pants. Sometimes I I, I I'm carrying I'm wearing an African pants, you know, with a drawstring, that works too. But here's one talk this into. Oh look, <laughs> okay, I would say one thing. This is so interesting because there's a there's a um, there's a phrase in south africa well and um it's, it's a it's a shona phrase it's from a like like uh, zimbabwe it's called uh chimaranga uh, chimaranga let me let me show you i always carry this with me this is my uh well i got travel with all the time i think it's here i looked for some the other day and i couldn't find here it is chimaranga well i well it's a oh get back there it's a term right I got this little thing that tells you all the gem. No, a gem. I should throw this away. I don't need this. You know something? Time to get rid of this thing. I'm going to toss this. <laughs> Things I carry. Um, oh, look at that. I told you the other day. 200 Rand. And here's the thing. The, the, um, the money, the, I guess the front side is Medieval, right? Then they changed it, right? The back side used to be on a 200 was a, a leopard. The big five, right? But now they changed it to the backside has Madiba in his uh, well, uh, you know, traditional thing. I don't know what this is. Here. Maybe it's a statue of Madiba. I don't know who this is. Maybe it's Susu. I don't know. Anyway, so you can tell the closers are doing it. This, I think it's dumb. Anyway, but I have hidden money all over the place just in case you never can tell, right? Anyway, I want to show you about Chimaranga. Well, Chimaranga, well, it's a literary magazine excellent really really good i mean you know if i had any kind of things you know i would i mean i should actually buy chimarango whatever it is um let me get some light up here come on get back here get some light oh yeah more light that way uh this is chimarango this is how it's spelled c-h-i jim c-h-i-m-u-r that he E N G A Chimurenga. Actually, the, the and Tony who runs this, who runs this uh, magazine, what time? How do you spell Chimurenga? He said, Chim. See, H you know, he went through the whole thing. Well, you know, Tony. It's literally he's a guy, big big time guy. Oh, and I I, I got to get a new one. I go past. I'll go past the um, Chimurenga offices when I get to Cape Town. But this is the most dangerous thing. This is a black man reading. But I have a big poster of this. I kind of made this big post and I gave them a big anyway. Um, now this is a man, a black man reading the Bible. I mean, black man reading a book. But if you look class closely, it's like Ziggy Marley reading the Bible. 
They said, because you know, Rasta's a Christian. Let me tell you, time I was a believer, one time I was walking across the street, and and, uh, and uh, Rasta said, I had locks. Rasta said, Rasta. And I said, no, Catholic. <laughs> oh, he got upset. Then he said, fake Rasta. And I turned around, that was walking across the street. I turned around, ran up. This was the big thing. I was tall, dude. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't swole, as you say. And I said, Oh man, I, I went off on him. You know, you don't know who I am. Blah 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 blah. He said, "No, brother." Blah, blah, blah. You know, because you know, Ross is supposed to be peaceful, peace. You know, to survive. Miss Chimberanga. Chimberanga is supposed to be mean um, a revolutionary struggle. Something. Yes, revolutionary struggle. But there's a, another meaning, meaning struggle within. It's within your ranks. Now there's a move on. You know, reparations has come to the fore. Why has reparations come to the fore now? Because I'm gonna tell you. Because of Ados. You know, these these guys here. This is the second. Oh. <gasps> Look at that money. This is a this is a hundred rand. See this is how he used to do this one on one side and then an animal on the other side, which makes more sense. You know what I mean? Anyway, where did this come from? Um so Ados, American descendants of of slavery, the, the institution, right? No problem. I I I do this modification, I say North American descendants of chattel slavery. Yeah, but that's, you know, okay, fine. But because when they came on the scene, then, then reparations got really activated because their mission really was to, or is, to, it's like, um, when, when I first thought about going to, it actually wasn't South Africa, it was Namibia. I heard about this, well, I knew about it. There's this spider, right? And what they do, the spiders, they, they think of the spider's little note, and they make this huge web all cooperative they make this huge web and so they catch bigger stuff to eat right and i was fascinated and this thing exists in basically uh southwest africa this spider and they the trees they catch they catch things and then they eat. but remember these are spiders and they have little basically each each spider makes a joins the web so they're like little nodes right so when i look at uh um, um ados uh, american descendant of slavery the institution they get maybe get that wrong then I look at it as, oh, you got little nodes in cities and wherever have you, and they and they all, you know, they are independent, but you know, they all working together like that. That's Ados, right? Now, when Ados hit, <laughs> then you have um, um, Tariq was his. He started with the foundation, uh, foundational Black Americans, right? I have when I go to when I go to. Um, um, Dumbaza, you know, to Alice, to, East, to, to the to the Eastern Cape. You see, I have I have the hoodie, the blue. It's a beautiful color blue, and it has uh, um, six, as he says, foundational, you know, uh, Black Americans who you know went through the whole. Their lineage goes through slavery and da da da. Lineage. Okay, great. So he well, well actually, again, Edo starts saying lineage first, and but see, that's you have to stand. Tariq stuff. He's a, I won't say he's a capitalist, but he's a, I'm, a, I'm going to say he's a hustler, but he's about the money, right? That's his, that's his nature. You have to know that, right? But, but you know, he, uh, you know, you don't, you, and let me put it, uh, Tariq has his way of, you know, uh, ranking on people and stuff like that, even though he said he won't code. But if you read Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., you know that. You know, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., you know Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.? This is the revised edition. This is the code, right? So he always say what well, like Mr. Neely Fuller, just like B One Brigade, you know, uh, Jason and Jason Black and whatever, they they would say you got to be on code, uh, Mr. as Mr. Neely Fuller would say, or or as uh, 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 um, John Henry Clark would say, you know, okay, I'll get to them in a second. So so you have to know what it is. So it's fine to me. It's a good 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 hoodie. <laughs> I like the hoodie. Beautiful blue. I love that blue. You know, I guess because you know, uh, a good blue color. It was one of his colors in like a well. I forget what it is. I think in, I think it contemplates blue and white, or and then and the Yoruba cultures blue or something or reverse. I don't know because I'm I'm North America. I do the same thing like that. Okay, so that's what Tariq does. Cracks on people, you know. Da 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 da. Was now 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 we separated them a bit, didn't we? Right. You know, but Ados is about uh, um, you know, uh, nodes that do political action. That's their mission. That's what they do. They, they, you know, they organize and blah 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 blah. Okay, um, and uh, like I said, Foundation Black Mary Tariq, they they do what they do. Then be one of them, you know. And 
no, they they sort of align with Tariq, but they, but he's always cracking on people, you know, talking about the uh, uh, the bootlickers and where you know it's all entertainment to me. But I mean, if we're going to get things done, you have to, you know. So here's what happened. So, oh yeah, I get those two. Oh, then you, of course you got in Cobra, who's been around for a long time, right? But their mission was to inform. You understand this? Like, there's four different. I'm gonna let's put B1 and, and Tariq together, right? You know, of course they do something. Let's just put them together for a second. So that's three entities have three separate missions for reparations. So you have people like in Cobra, and I remember, uh, uh, um, uh, I guess, uh, well, Ados would be when I mean, they come out. You know, of course, if that comes from Kentucky, or not Kentucky, um, Georgia, or whatever, and and, uh, and and Antonio, Antonio's, and um in LA, right? So you can look at that. So they're formed by their demographics or whatever it is, right? Also, um, um, uh, Yvette spoke, well, she worked on Capitol Hill for somebody like that. But I, anyway, okay, so she knows, that's how she's orientated, right? Then, and then you have in Cobra. Like I said, their mission is to supposed to be informed and they, and they always pick up, you know, oh, these people ain't been around. They don't know, say, Queen Mother of the Moors. Say, what is it? Queen Mother of the Moors. But believe me, I, I hung out with Queen Mother more too, all these days, because she did New York, and I grew up in New York. See, Queen Mother more. This is Queen Mother more. Okay, I got the button. Ask one of them people if they got the button. They really say Queen Mother more. Ask them if they got the button. They ain't got the button, or they they ain't talk to Brother Shep. You know, Brother Shep who makes these buttons. Then you know, okay, like that. And of course, also in Cobra has a more that they consider themselves Pan Africanists, right? Now remember, uh, Edos considers Edos and uh, financial black Americans are purely American, right? But in Cobra, I guess they're from whatever they Pan African. Okay, great. No, no worries. I'm not. Uh, right? I'm not cacking on these people. But the other another meaning of Chimaranga is the struggle within. So right now the, the major whatever you call it, reparations movement, we have to struggle within. But why? You don't have to. They they have. They have basically three separate things to be doing. And that's what I don't understand. I just don't understand. Okay, let's say for instance, the Pan-Africans, they you know, have the red, black, and green from the Marcus Garvey, you know, red for the blood, black for the race, and green for the, we used to say in the 60s, green for the vegetation of the land. Right? They say something else now. Okay, great. Um, now, for me, th this artist, oh, here, you see the rock. So, I mean, I, I still do the American flag because they, they insist the American, and, and <laughs> okay, whatever. But, I love this flag. I just got it today. Well, I have I have one in um, I have one in Virginia, but I wanted to bring one down to Africa. And the guy I couldn't find him. Then today I was walking. He's on the street. I said brother, you know, he's a Rasta brother. Hey, hey, I want that flag. It's only fifteen dollars. You know, I guess on these flags, them like they go like three hundred, whatever. Not um, whatever. Because I'm looking for this pen. I'm looking for this um, um, the uh, uh, African Union flag, right? And so I'm, I got him on that. So perhaps when I get back, he'll have that. I doubt it. I shouldn't say that. He might have it, right? So, but for me, that's a practical flag because it, it takes, it considers the uh, the legacy, if you will, of Marcus Garvey. But at the same time, you, you, you're holding on to, you're reminded of the United States. I think there's 50 black stars there, whatever. Because, you know, we have 50 states, A, African Union has 55 countries. I wonder if that flag has the 55 stars. There's 55 countries on that continent. It's like there's 50 states well, associated with the United States. They're not actually, well, they're, well, that, there it is. So I don't see any, I mean, I get, I get, I get, um, invest newsletter, right? I got, I got the, like, a lot of merch, you know, because I started from the very beginning, tracking them like that. And, uh, or be one of them. I don't really have anything from them. I really, I don't really have anything from them. I, I, I listen to everyone up once in a while. Oh, I love when uh, Professor Black Truth has started a morning things like 20 minutes. I like that one. And that's good. Um, um, so what am I saying? But I, because, I think because they don't have any strategy, I mean, the overall, nobody has strategy and tactics, um, then stuff happens. Like, for instance, you know why B1, <laughs> not B1, you know why uh, in COVID is so bad at, at um at uh, ADOS, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. 
Oh, this is hilarious. You'll see they they call him Big Bird at these shows. And maybe it's um uh, Mark Thompson, right? Well, Mark Thompson worked for Sirius Satellite Radio, right? So he's in the movie that we you know um uh, Karen Hunter and by extension Karen Karen Hunter and Greg Carr, right? right? So what happened is one of the one of the ADOS early on uh, got got to whatever uh, ruffled the feather of, of, of Mark Thompson, right? And he swung at him, whatever it is. And so the of course he's they, they should have studied Miss Neely for a year. Hey, he employed by by the white man. So the white man said, Hey, we can't have this and canned him. <laughs> now here's the thing. Mark had did those guys in Cobra because they've been around for a long time when they did da, 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 and they was they was being played. I won't I won't, look, I won't I won't get into that. But what happened was uh, he had like Na Nancy Pelosi on speed dial. Well, what good is that? You ain't got nothing out of it. You know, because she's a consummate politician. She don't even have to debate anybody. She do what she do. Okay, that's what happened. But think about it. There was some another other layers because I don't just look at one layer. One layer. Like for instance, I'll give you an example. Think about what happened. You know, you know Chesnut Bowden, you know, when Black Panther came out, it came up to Sirius Satellite like, Radio. And so you have you have Karen Hunter, and Mark Thompson being privileged to, uh, you know, interview, you know, Chadwick Boseman and like that. And I guess a bunch of other people, you know. And so when he's now taking out the thing, they, they had a, a thing that brought them, that, that, that bringing them together, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> bringing them together. You see, so all those memories and whatever happened in relationships, I don't know how long they were, were together at, at Sirius or whatever have you, but. So he had to get to feel some way about it. So, so in Cobras is, is, angry or miffed at Ados because Ados is sort of weirdly responsible for them, one of their one of their troops getting canned by the white man. <laughs> so that's what's happening. And but unfortunately I say unfortunately. So let me leave so the problem is that no more I don't let me I haven't listened to event in a while, like almost two months. I got some other things to do and I'm working on some stuff like like that. So I really didn't have the time. I didn't want to take the hours to do that. I actually like the listeners when they but I, I just not into it. I couldn't. I couldn't get to it. But uh, but you know, her thing was again to respond. They they have to. I guess he's a Twitter person, or whatever. She got to respond to everybody and fight everybody. You understand? Wait, you understand? You know, and, and it's almost like Yvette and 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 uh, and, and, and I want to say Anto I want to say Antonio because but Antonio, uh, uh, attorney Moore, right? They are almost like you can't. There's no good cop, bad cop. That they both are like Scorby. They both, you know, you come at us, we are gonna come at you. Da, 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 da. So B one is beating up B one and Tariq is beating up more. No, Tariq is beating up more, more and whatever, calling them names and stuff like that. So much for code for, for Tariq and B one. Sometimes they say whatever they say, you know. No, actually B one is interesting. They don't come down on Ados. They don't say stuff about Ados. Okay. But a Cobra. And the pro problem is like. Great car, he keeps on. Just leave it alone. And you're doing your thing. And he says, and, and it's repping, like, oh, and they, and they and say, huh? You ain't never, huh? <laughs> leave it alone. Car, leave it alone. Leave it, do, do what you do. Do what you do. Do not, everybody, do what you do and leave the other groups alone. Because the way I look at it, right? It's like um, Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, you know. It's like a bird. It's like a, a flock of birds, right? So, so Ados is one kind of flock of birds, right? Uh, B1, you know, is one another kind of flock of birds. Tariq is another flock of birds. And Cobra is another flock of birds. But if your if your organizations together, the flock, you know, for, you know, they're on code. The code of birds. Are, but like 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 it's demonstrated by, I insist, the most accessible revolutionary film ever made, which is The Birds. You see. They, the the pelicans they have they have their they have their um their their job to do right the the crows they do their thing the, all the birds the different birds do their thing against what getting rid of the, the, the colonizer the white girl that started the whole thing and the white boy well the white woman and the white man that started this whole thing bringing the thing you see it's amazing so I, I mean I think like this don't tell these folks this because they just going to come down or you know they just don't let me put it. Oh, let me put it this way. Uh, when I was um, in Bronx Community College, when I started Bronx Community College in 1968. Well, anyway, I was part of this truly a revolutionary group. It was three, three women, three men. I said really girls, 
right? And we were studying, you know, the, the, the red book, the black book, you know, uh, uh, you know, Fanon, you know, Che, you know, the uh, Walter Rodney, where we books, right? And we were just having a grand old time, you know, studying. And then we, we was part of a, a larger group called Simba. And so when we took over the school, unfortunately, <laughs> For me, I, well, I was I was a happy boy in slop. We studied revolution, you know, being 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 taught by being taught by two brothers that were in the Vietnam War. You know what I mean? Came back, they were revolutionary. You know? And so I was having a good time. But then we had to come and take me positions of responsibility because then it was on. We took over the school. That changed my life. I guess, but I guess in my first communications because I was in, but that don't work. But, but you understand? So you can shift. You can be a, like you could be, let's say in Cobra, they could be, um, you know, studying. Let's say they study because they're supposed to do what they were supposed to do, right? They sit at the knee, at the feet of, of, of Queen Mother Moore, that kind of thing, right? But then when it comes time to activate, you know, the, to legislate it, well, they have their legislation is trying to hoi, cozy up to, you know, you know the, the politicians. Hey, and and like they'll talk about Jedi right, you know, uh, um, um, Obama's preacher. But you know, they they, they didn't see the example of Obama, and and and, and Jedi right. What Jedi right would say finally, and Jedi right, he was very smart. He didn't respond when the report said, "What about this?" He said, um, "Obama's a politician. He does what he does. I'm a preacher. I do what I do. That's it. That is the answer." And this funny thing that folks will cite people like John Henry Clark or or or. Um, Mr. Neely Foley Jr. or or Jerry Ryan White, right? Whoever you know, what I mean, uh, a Queen Mother more, but they don't really follow their thing. They're doing their own. Well, that's what they do, right? So I just find it fascinating, you know, because you know I'm I'm what's, I, I call myself a witness traveler, like in the mode of of, of James Baldwin. Just just James Baldwin. I'm not talking about writing, but I mean James Baldwin was a witness traveler, you know. He witnessed stuff. He wrote it down, you know, to, to, and we know stuff because he was a witness. Trap. He was there in the trenches. Man, you know, he would be, you know, in Oakland with the brothers, you know, in whatever with the brothers. You see, he said, and there was no whole this separation. Oh, he's homosexual. No, man, we got the revolution to do. Don't matter care what you are. Are you, are you trying to free us? Are you being constructive? That's the question. Just because you look like a certain way, or you, you think this person, I don't know. You know, or you got education. Oh, the academics just, they just, I laugh, right? Because they're supposed to inform. Uh, look, I don't want to get into that. The academics are very, 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 you know. Here's a, here, I'm a, okay, let me leave me alone. Let me leave me alone and them alone too. So that's it. I just wanted to just get this out because I'm, I'm leaving for, for Africa. Hey, I'm a real Pan Africanist. You know, I'm in, like Steve Coakley's got his his, his group, but he's passed peace and blessing on that revolutionary soul. Oh man, we need a Steve Coakley these days, man. I mean, somebody who went into the Chicago machine, got through it because of how Washington would well, uh, and held their feet to the fire and blah blah. blah. Anyway, but they're in Africa. They they you know, no Marengo. There was uh, that's a uh, I don't know, the Marengo here. No, these not these Marengo. Hey Marengo, where you at? Oh, here, 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 here. <laughs> you know, they were well, not this, but they have a moringa product, very, very good. But I, I do moringa tablets too. Well, they, they, they're powder, whatever happened. But where I am in, in, in the Eastern Cape, first of all, we have very good soil, right? And they, I got, got checked because I've been going, and they, 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 they grow stuff, whatever have you. And I was trying to tell them, look, we got to grow some moringa trees. We got to have a, a bamboo, you know, area, you know, and bamboo. What you got to do? The problem is you got to dig. Large trench around because that bamboo that that's evasive that'll what, what you think so you got to be able to do it right so that's, that's what you get the internet for you can do some research right basically I'm a real Pan Africanist right not only did I my, in Nomo, come to think of it Nomo Radio the first program really official program of Nomo Radio back in the day in the eighties they have there was an exhibit of um, at the Schomburg was thing with Marcus Garvey so I went through the whole thing hey, you know Marcus Garvey is trying to hook up wow. He was in love with a white girl, just like, just like, um, what's the name? Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. He loved with a white girl, just like Barack Obama <laughs> loved with a white girl before they did the black thing. Right? I will, I'll leave me, let me leave that alone. The point is, everybody has their their things, but when you're in a revolutionary struggle, right? Not the revolutionary, but you're in a revolutionary struggle, you got to leave all that stuff behind. It's like, let me put it this way: there's a military term, well, there's a battle term, you know. 
who would you want to be in a foxhole with? Think about it. Who would you want to be in? In other words, who got your back for real? You, you understand what I'm saying? Somebody that's mouthing stuff. Somebody that's doing stuff. You see? Huh. So let me stop there because, you know, I can wax on for, forever. And I got to get, I got to get, um, I got to do my, uh, I got to do my color, my color reading. This is going to be interesting. I'm still going to do the color reading even when I'm on the road because I carry my color Bible with me. In fact, I got, oh, you know what I'm carrying? Oh, wait a second. Got the Gullah Bible, right? Because I got this, I got some stuff to do. This The next three months is going to be intense because when I got back, I got in, I got intensified because when I come back, oh, it's on. <laughs> it's on because I, it's on. My radio drama, my theater stuff is going to come to the fore. I mean, I, I'm working on stuff now. Let me try to find this. Hold on, don't go. go. I got to pack my bags over here, right, right. I gotta find this. Hold on, and I show it to you because you know you, because you know y'all don't be not believe nothing. Right? As well, you shouldn't. You know, uh, call it receipts. I like that term, receipts. Where's your receipts? Um, is it here? Is it here? Come on now, come on now, y'all. Oh here, this is gonna. Be, I'm gonna show you something about this. I know I'm taking a little time, but hey, what can I tell you? Uh, where's this thing? Oh here they are. Here they are. So the three books, of course. I got books down and, and things. I was taking Oswald, Oswald is a poet. He was a guard at, uh, at Adasa. He writes poetry book. I bought a couple and I go through, I'll see if you can know. Um, so I have three books, right? Because I, I'm gonna do this whole spiritual thing. Well, well, I'm gonna go on a silent thing for like 52 days before my birthday. But the three books I have in a sort of a spiritual life is the, the Gullah Bible based on the, uh, what you call them, people, uh, the King James Version of the Holy Bible, right? Yeah, like that. I have this thing from our, talk about Edos, from Dr. Kevin Cosby, uh, Getting to the Promised Land. So I'll be reading that during this 52-day period, right there. And I interviewed Cosby. Oh, hey, if you listen to my, look, don't listen to my ravings, man. You need to go to, I got playlists, right? Go to the interview playlist thing. And you go, you, you, there's some really interesting people in that really interesting you know that's why well like that and i'm gonna read i'm read uh, uh soliloquies and con oh, on conscious being uh dr kenneth g mills right those are the three things see there's a white guy right uh, I, I can't explain to you it might come out sooner sooner or later but he he passed and so uh um i won't tell you about it, but, but but he was up out of he's canadian right that and 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 well, well, the reason why I know him is because when I was arts director, I had to explore a lot of things. And I, I like the choral singing. He had this choral group that's magnificent. They were like, this guy was really, woo, talk about cults, man. Um, that's where um, the one, I, I went to his place twice. Well, had a mansion up there in Tor Toronto, right? But, you know, you you have, you had to eat like, uh, like when you went to the afternoon meal, right? You had the jacket, right? And they, they had, the waiters with the thing that they done and I had to have conversation at the thing, right? Right. One time I gave it this famous line, right? The food was there. It had been a dinner meal where you gotta have tuxedo on. What can I tell you? And I would always, I would be hanging out with the <laughs> I'd be hanging out with the kitchen staff. But you know, but I'm the only black guy there, you know. I'm hanging out with the kitchen staff talking to blah 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 blah. <laughs> it was hilarious. Um but uh, there was food I said I, can't, I don't think I can eat. I, I, was, I can't eat this. I said, How do you eat a work of art? Oh, they love that. You know, sometimes I come up with really good things. So anyway, so Kenneth Mills, uh, this thing is, he's an extraordinary person. I mean, he, he, you know how, oh man, like he would paint, right? He would just go, 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 go. Painting is finished. Beautiful. He he, he built these houses where he taught his, his, his acolytes how to carry stone. You know, it was, it's, the cat was just unbelievable. I think they might be doing a, a documentary or something on him. They, I guess I might be in it. Well, it don't, don't matter about that. So those are three, the three spiritually, mystically kind of books I read. You know, these three here. Da -da -da -da. So um, and that's what I'm carrying. <sighs> it's so heavy. That's why I like to have books in there. But this I'm carrying in my bag. This goes in the other bag. Oh, here's what I wanted to show you. I have these ideas. Like that. Oh yeah, but back, uh, back to um, a little bit just before I get something. And also with with uh, 
uh, Karen Hunter, Dr. Greg Carr, you know, or at least Greg Carr is the and Cobra person. Um, you know, I, you know, I rock there. I love this. The reason why I like Nubia is because they get they get they get Africa, but they included Madagascar on there, right? And it's uh it's the narrative people, right? So I'm them, them from the beginning, you know. So all these people, you know, I know, like I support when I can. Like I, if I buy your merch, it just means I support you. But if I support your channel, like Army, uh, Army, let's say Freepo, I I was hit with him before he before he you know he was with Evette or whatever have you because it's philosophy. I like philosophy. And I love his his analysis for everything. At all them people that's doing analysis, if you're gonna do analysis, check out Iron Man. Check out Iron Man. If you're gonna do okay, and Iron Man is like academic uh, analysis, and um, uh, um, right there, <laughs> uh, Mr. Lily Fuller Jr. is like uh, on the ground analysis. If you just throw just those those two, you'll be really good, right? But everybody else to me is like, everybody else is what I call, they, they, they're they all on their high horse. You know what it is being a high horse? You be looking down on people, give them the, the wisdom, right? And then you ride off. I'm sorry, that's, that's let me not go on. But th this is a, a, a thing, uh, I, I create these, uh, these things like, oh, like my relationship when I'm traveling around, you know, I'm actually what's called uh, a chemisole. Oh, uh, Comenso. 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 And then Comenso is a, is a, is a long-term biological interaction uh, symbiosis. This is the academic stuff, right? In which members of one species gain benefits while those of the other species neither benefit nor are harmed. Think about that. So um, this it's like the traveler's code. So like when I'm here at my brother's house, I don't, you know, I don't invade his space. You know what I mean? I'm here, I'm, you know, uh, I don't even eat his food, you know, like that. I don't, uh, da, 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 da. I harass him because there's something. I don't harass him, but I, I lead by example. I give you an example. Uh, you know, you have your bath mat, you know, the, the rubber mat and everything. Well, I start to pull it up because, you know, take a shower after and pull it up like that. And then one time he said to me, Oh yeah, my sister. Somebody, you know, would, would do that. When I kept on doing, it. and now he does it. See, by example, I can't tell him you do it. No, you don't do it that way. You see, you got it. Okay. And when I'm other places, same thing. I I have my little hole. You know, I, I I take a little space. But and when I leave the place, I leave it better than it is. Okay, little things like that. Oh, I don't know what. Uh, we are an evolutionary force. That's what am I saying? I'm an evolutionary, right? Well, culturally, I'm a revolutionary, but in life, whatever, I'm an evolutionary. But here's what I want to show you. I have this project, 12 million black boys. I think I'll be able to do it if I get something done. Uh, here's what I wanted to show you. Oh, here we are. Here's the thing. See this here? These two pages here. Try to keep it to two pages. Get some. Sorry, let me put my reading glasses on. You know, uh, these are my old ones that I'm bringing back. To, I'm bringing to South Africa. My new ones I'm keeping in Virginia. Oh, you know, in Virginia, but these are going to go to South Africa. So I have reading glasses in South Africa. Actually, I tell you the truth, my wife likes these glasses. She put them on. She looked good. Um, okay. Uh, or I'll leave that part alone. Okay. There's a thing called um, uh, cultural, intellectual, spiritual lineage. Okay, that's what that's what I wrote here, right? And then I have all these people, all this situation with the, the, like that. You know, people are like I. D. B. Wells. Marx, Messiah, Garvey, Richard Wright, W.B. Du Bois, Franz Fanon, Malcolm Little, Malcolm X, you know, uh, Lorraine Hansberry, Carlos Cooks, um, uh, 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 Jay Guevara, Henry Dumas, of course. Henry Dumas, my man. Oh, man. <sighs> Might be doing well. We're going to be doing something on that. You, you'll find out. If it's, if it's the way it's supposed to be, you're going to say, whoa, the brother was right. right? Anyway, so the, the, the people are interested in me, and I think most of these folks or pass or, 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 or have transitioned, right? Uh, but oh, Sophia Henderson Holmes, oh god, man, I have nothing to say. Um, I didn't even like that. Uh, Barbara Antier, even Pete Seeger. Oh, my influential teachers, this is good. Uh, Mrs. Virginia Rhodes, that's my fourth grade teacher, something like that. Really good. William Craycraft, very interesting cat, you know, he worked for the um. 
uh, those, those let's say those tests, you know, those, those tests you do. And he came to class and said, those tests are bogus, basically. So there are, because he said it, and I got it from him. And he developing those, and he worked the company to develop those tests. Oh, Dr. Ward Klaus is a philosopher. That what he what I got from him was that if you when you learn Aristotelian philosophy, then education is easy. It's all based on that, right? I also, they're from oh, in taking this, I had well, whatever I've had like three classes of in, so like history of philosophy, comparative religion. Oh, everybody, I don't care who, everybody, all these schools, they need to teach comparative religion. I'm just telling you, high school, college, it should be a required course when you enter college. Comparative religion, done. Okay, I won't get in for now. Pepsi Charles. Oh, I love Pepsi so much. Oh, man. Doug Evans. Oh, Avery Brooks. Um, institutions. Uh, then like then, then the institute includes people like the Patterson Housing Projects, the Mount Haven section of the South Bronx, the William Lord Garrison Public School, PS31, no longer exists. They destroyed it, man. It's a castle on the hill. Right. Hey, we went to the castle on the hill. From Morris Avenue up there, Grand Concourse. Uh, Clark Junior High School, 149. The Bronx doesn't exist anymore. They didn't change the building, is there, but they didn't change anything. I don't know what's going on. Theodore Roosevelt High School, Theodore Roosevelt High School, it's actually what they call it. It's a, uh, it's some weird academic, I don't know. It's, I don't know, it's something. It's, they don't call it a high school anymore. Negro Ensemble Company, of course, Bronx Community College, United States Air Force, Saturday, so with JP, Livingston College. School of Visual Arts, Pacific Radio, First World Alliance, the Shelter, the Club Shelter, Armark, that's the World Association of Community Broadcasting, Capoeira Angola Center in New York City, Orisha Tales Repertory Radio Theater Company, Pan African Space Station, in Cape Town, influences. But I'm saying what you do, what you should do, what you should do is make a list of the things that influence you in your lineage that that you know has informed you. You see, that's, just give me that. Oh, let, let that be the last thing. Because I'm gone, right? Well, I'm going from here. I'm going to do a, a thing like that. All right? So y'all take care. I'm just letting you know a little uh, perspective from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.